But welcome back to another segment of Let's, Let's Talk, Talk About, about it. it. I'm Brother RJ, and this is the esteemed Brother Jerome right here to my left. This brother I'm talking about is truly awesome in the word of God. Now, what we're going to get into, we're going to get into the series that Pastor has been doing for this entire month. It started out with Back to the Future was the first one. But what's the what's the name of this series? It, the name of the series is At, At the, the movies. movies. Now, if you the king of church, you would have got you a bag of popcorn as you yes. was leaving out. Let you know you was at, at the, the movie. Matter of fact, you even smelled the popcorn. It made just... Wow. You, while you sitting there listening to the word, you was probably getting hungry, too, at the same time. Anyway, the very first one was Back to the Future. Right. The next one was 300. Then Lean on Ooh. Me. Today, we talking about Runaway Bride. Yes. I'm talking about, um, man, look here. Well, before we get into that, we're going to talk about that prayer. That wor- Oh, you know what? We gonna, I'm going to let Brother Wright hit you about that worship experience. Man, what, what, what happened there? Blaze cranked it up. Kevin cranked it up. They were they were off the chisel name. Woo, you, were, you heard him, the chisel name. <laughs> they were getting it. It was a just a, and I was just sitting over there enjoying the service. Mm-hmm. And the the atmosphere just began to go higher and higher and higher. And it was just phenomenal. But check this out. You know, I'm going to put it like, like this. You know. It, you already get, can, can get the organist or the keyboardist to jump off and go give a, give a praise, the guitarist. But when you get the drummer. Oh, yes. I, I forgot about the drummer. I cannot forget about the drummer. See, for all y'all who wasn't in the house today, wow, you, O-M-G. Yeah, yeah, you had to be in the house. I'm, 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 I'm going to do how, how, how the other side of my family. Adios, mijo. I'm telling you, he Woo-hoo. was off the chain today. I, I, was, I was sitting there saying, I don't hear the drum. And so I looked over there. The drummer was getting off, praising getting it, God, working it. through his sticks down. Wasn't no sticks, wasn't no drums. Wasn't no drums, wasn't everybody, no sticks. That man was getting every, it. It's almost like everybody in the church was worshiping God, everybody, praising him. Everybody was praising him. Everybody was, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm talking about, it, 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 the Bible say, you know what I'm saying, let everyone. Yes. Praise everything. Him. Everything that has, has breath. breath praise praise ye the, the Lord. Lord. Amen. I'm talking about that thing was Woo. so... Powerful today. That yeah, praise I still and worship. Feel, I man. still feel it. Ooh, I'm, 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 I'm talking about that thing. Was it, it was flowing man, through? It, yes, it was. It, it was flowing through. The and day. we don't have to try to. It, you know, we're not really doing it in the justice. No, we're not. You go. You, I mean, yeah. I know you can go back and watch it. However, it's not going to be the same. No, it's not. Yeah. All you can ask for that presence just to come through that TV. Yeah, and just hit. And he can. Oh, that, that's but, but it's, definite. It's, I, I guess that's the one thing about worshiping. When you corporate worship, mm-hmm. when you around mm-hmm. your brothers and your sisters and you worship together, you can't duplicate that. No, I man, you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to duplicate that. No. Nah, nah, nah. When when the spirit nah, just nah, nah, nah. permeate throughout the whole body, everybody is touching. God know how to touch everybody in their touch own way. Everybody. Body. Yes. I'm talking about it, it was awesome. So yes. you get a chance, man. Go back and check it out. Check out each and every one of these series. You know you can go. We got we 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 got our app on the Apple App Store, the Google Play Store. You also got it on on YouTube. You got it on Facebook. We're gonna restream it again for you guys to check it out. We're gonna play clips throughout the week. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about that word, that word. Now you want to be able to have faith, like the Bible tells you, faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen. It is Awesome. You got to go back and check this out. But we're going to get into this right here. So how did a pastor kick this thing off? Where he started off at? In Jonah 3.1, he mm-hmm. says, Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah mm-hmm. the second time. Come on. Not the first time. Not the first time. But the second time mm-hmm. saying, and then he went on. Man. He, he went on. And one thing that he said that got my attention, he said, The bride of Christ is mm-hmm. taking a big hit in the day that we're living. Our witnesses is waning. Our are non-existent. We don't have as much as we use. Our living does not project the image of Jesus Christ, right. the Son of the Living God, right. as much as it as it should be. And it's almost as if the bride of Christ, we 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 should know how to conduct. It should be a, a special way we conduct ourselves. But we are constantly running away. We are. From what God has, we man, are God's purpose man, we, for our life. It's like we running away so far yes. and, and so fast mm-hmm. that you know it, it's almost like everyone wants you to believe a lie, right? 
and, and, and look at the truth and, 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 and say it's a lie. Right. Because, you know, even in society, as society is doing things, nobody, everybody say they want to live their truth, but they don't want to live the truth. Right. And everybody, everybody, truth is based on how they feel. Come on. About what, Come on. Uh, Come what on. is right and what is wrong. Come on. That's it. It's, That's it. It's based what they call relativism. That's it. It's like, it's just like truth. Every truth is based on how you feel about. That's uh, it. About the truth. And but we know the word of God is true. It's That's the same it. yesterday, today, and forevermore. It does Amen. not change. Amen. It's the one thing in our lives that that's, that brings stability Come on. to us. It's the one thing that does not change. The word is mm -hmm. the same forever. Heaven mm -hmm. and earth shall pass away, but the word will oh, remain. That's it. It's that's be, it. That's it. But, but you know the thing is, is even even in our runaway, uh, Pastor quoted Mr. Kenny Loggins, and he said, "Running away will never make you free." We run away from our issues. That's a lot, isn't it, RJ? Our problems. But I mean, we, we're running away from a lot of things. We it, it's like it's almost like we don't want to face reality. We want reality to be a fantasy. Right. And and, and, and living that fantasy, we want to make up our own, you know, which means we run away. So it's almost like a, a, a person who is going through something, but yet instead of wanting to face it, they go out and they start drinking. Right. You know, they, they, you know, they go out and they start doing other things, right. you know, that, that actually get them to go away from what God is trying to call them to. But you, you said something. They running away from the mm -hmm. truth. If you run away from the truth. That's it. How can you, how can you ever get it right? You can't. If you, the further, the you more won't. you run away uh -huh. from the truth, the further you get behind. That's it. That's I mean, it. You You're right. It's almost like the truth is west, and you going east. Come on. You'll never get to the truth. You will never get to the you, truth. You'll you'll exhaust never. everything right. you got in mm -hmm. you. Your your all of your finances, your Come on. emotions. Come on. All of all of the stuff that's make you who you are. You mm -hmm. expend everything you got, and you'll right. never get to the truth. But we're being told that the truth shall set you free. The truth. The word of God will set you free. Exactly. The but truth the shall truth set you of, free. Um, not your truth. Not humanism and all that. Exactly. Other stuff. Not what you call not what I call my truth. Of men. Exactly. Right. Right. No. Right. Uh -uh. Right. And mm -hmm. but you know what the thing is? So many of us we run from that word. Right. The only book, the only book right. that that you can actually read that can still tell you what happened, what's happening, and what's going to happen. Right. And everybody want to still believe what man said. But if man wrote the book, man was inspired by God. Right. Mm -hmm. And the book still holds true till this day. You know, I was on my job uh, last week and one of the officers, uh, you know, he was talking about uh, the, the Bible. And he was uh, he was trying to make reference to how do we know that the Bible is true? Mm -hmm. And he started talking about Jesus ain't no. Uh, like the picture they got him, blonde hair, blue eyes. Well, we and he was that. just going on. Mm -hmm. And and then he started talking about where in the Bible that it calls a, you know, people Christian and stuff. So I'm listening to him. And, mm -hmm. I, and I'm just listening. And before I could chime, I didn't. I, I just wanted to hear him out right. before I chimed in. Right. And But the more he talked, the more he didn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. The more he talked, I say, this man has no clue about the Word of God, None. about Bible. And he's just going on. And on to finally confuse one of the, one of the sisters who I work for. Me and her talk all the mm -hmm. time. She was like, "Well, uh, uh, I said, well, I know Jesus. You know, we talking. I said, I know Jesus don't have a blonde. The people that stayed in Palestine and those areas, right, they want right. blonde hair. No, people. no, we, that that that's we know that that's exactly. not true. We definitely but, know that. But I do know that Jesus is true. Come he on. was born of a virgin." However you, however you want to give him the scripture, mm -hmm. Jesus was true. He was the son of God. That's it. Amen. He was the word of God and That's he right. became flesh. And he uh -huh. took upon a, a, a flesh, a nature just like you and I. Right. And he came and he died and he was resurrected. That's it. That's whatever, it. Whatever color hair you want him. You, 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 Man, you fight. Look. But the truth of the matter is that he, he came to take away our sins. And without him, you're still in your sin. But but even in that, let, uh -huh. let, let's be real. We're still talking about runaway bride. Uh huh. With, with that being said, he also told us not to make any graven images as well. 
do you know how powerful that is what you just said? He told us. So and we it's he, nothing we, even in the word it told right. us. It's nothing that we can it's no image that we can uh, um, uh, mentally conjure up. Come on. Uh, we can 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 put on any kind of it paper mm -hmm. or a photograph or whatever right. God said. It's nothing you can make up or describe or come up uh, uh, that would depict who I am. That's it, right there. Because I'm a spirit. That's it. And it's nothing. So don't God say, as a matter of fact, uh, you, I'm forbidding you to make anything, but, any image like in in my but, anything in my. But image. think about how powerful this is. Even when Jesus came back after the three days, he he rose again. They still didn't know who he they was on their side. I knew you were gonna say that. I knew you were gonna say that. They still didn't know. Him. They, so 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 to me, <laughs> how you going to pick something and then you? They don't even. Know I'm him. talking about the people who his disciples who walked with him was like, man, that ain't. Right. Didn't even recognize him. No. What that take? Oh, now, listen. Now, listen mm -hmm. to this. Now, he resurrected. Mm -hmm. We know he had a new body. Right. But we don't know how he looked. Come on now. But he looked in Come such on. a fashion. He had been Come with on. God. Uh, however he may look, Come they on. did Come not on. recognize him after being with him for three and a half years. At all. At all. They did not have a clue. Did not have a but, clue. When they, when Jesus ministered to them mm -hmm. by His words, come on, He became known to them. Then they realized Ooh. this is the Lord. That's it, because That's of it. the words that He spoke, mm -hmm. not what they saw. That's it. That's it right there. We still talking about runaway bride. Yes, believe it or not, we still in this <laughs> word. We need to get to understand it because look, uh, look here. Pope Pius X said this, the church alone being the bride of Christ and having all things in common with her divine spouse is a depository of the truth. Woo! Woo! And we've been talking about not knowing the truth and finding the truth. There you go. See, and the I, truth I is still in, 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 it's in the church. It's in the people it, of that, God. It, we that's where it's at. Oh, that's it. That oh, is man. it. But you know what, though? Here's the thing that, you, that, 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 we, that we have to understand. So many people get confused. And they, they, they go and left, and you're supposed to go right, they go right, and you're supposed to go left. They're doing their own things. The song used to, you know, used to sing uh, uh, the Sesame Street song, which one of these kids is doing his own thing. <sighs> you need Do you to... remember Sesame Street? Ooh, I remember that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. So the thing is, here's this. The devil wants your identity so bad that he confuses you to believe that you aren't what God created you to be. Deception. That's one exactly. of the greatest tools of the enemy. That's one of his greatest tools to create deception. And that's ex that's why so many of us run away. Because we go in, like, you know what I'm saying, one way, and we get so confused. The Bible tells us a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Mm. So once you go in one way, once you start, once the, once the enemy know he can confuse you and get you to go a, a, a different way from, from giving God praise, glory, and honor, he already know he already got you. He won. And then it get right back to what we've already previously said. Mm -hmm. You running away, That's it. but That's you're it. going away from the truth. You're That's going it. away from Christ. You're going away from his purpose mm -hmm. in your life. And it's and, and and you can never get to the place where God wants you to be. Mm -hmm. And God has to find a way. That's it. If 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 he wants to uh if he wants you to to do what he needs you to do, he'll find a way to get you to come back. He definitely will. You know what so 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 even in that, you gotta remember, right? Running away, you know, you're running from God. But think about it like this. You can always come back. But even in that, in order for the enemy to defeat you, he has to first wound you. Mm -hmm. For him to try to defeat you. So many of us have been wounded, done been stabbed, done been hit, and we feel we, we feel such a blow. You know, this society nowadays is so sensitive. As soon as you say something, you know, that 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 that, that, that gets to them, you know, you, you offended me. All it is is the enemy hitting at you because, you know what I'm saying, he already know what buttons to push, how to get to you, to get you upset, to get you mad, to get you to get go, to go away from God. Now he don't wound you. In order for him to defeat you, that's what he has to do. And in the church, it's, it's, I don't know why it seems like it's so devastating, more devastating when somebody uh, offend you in the church than it is in the world. Man. When, uh, it's almost like, uh, uh, and it, it always... Uh, it compares to 
and they call themselves a Christian. That's and it. And they talking That's about it. me like that. That's it. Be that as it may, uh, be that as it may, you don't do that to the world. Mm -hmm. When somebody defend you yes, in the world, man, you get upset. On your you, job. On you, your job. Ooh, in your the boss school, talk about you. And driving all that down kind the street. Of stuff, and you take it. You take it. And you don't fight it. Mm -mm. But but don't mm -hmm. let let a believer. As soon as you get in here, you, you want to go like, run, tell yes. a pastor, <laughs> tell you what they said Run away, Brad. Really? Let me right. tell you what they did to me. Really? If you was all hard just the other day out there in the streets cussing somebody out about something with a bee in your hand, mm -hmm. as soon as you get in here, you... you I'm a, I'm a, I'm offended. Really? This is what we doing? Right. Mm -hmm. R running away from, from 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 what you need to be doing. Check this out, RJ. Uh -huh. I, I just thought about this. Come on. Jonah was running away mm -hmm. because he didn't want to deal with the people of Nineveh. He mm. didn't like them. I don't want. I don't. I don't like Nineveh. Uh, I think Pastor called it. He was an undercover racist. That's mm -hmm. what he called Jonah. Yeah. Un he yeah. was an undercover. Yeah. He didn't like Nineveh. God, but but Nineveh, Nineveh mm -hmm. shows us a, a picture. No matter how bad it looks in our lives, mm -hmm. God loves us so much. He will send somebody our way to help us. That's it. That's Jonah it. Jonah didn't care about the, the Ninevites. Nope. But God did. Exactly. I don't care how bad and how. How rude and reckless mm -hmm. and shrewd they were. They were they were some moon, some rude people. They were rough. Mm -hmm. Jonah knew that, and Jonah all, Jonah Jonah also knew mm -hmm. that if God get a hold to them, God will uh, save them. Oh man, I don't you want know, them to be a part. I don't you know want what? them to be saved. Check this out. So being that you said that, which one of y'all out there right now? God done told you to do what you need to do and Ooh, go tell that's somebody good. something. That's good. That's good. It's, they out there. It's somebody out man, there. Man, man. I mean, okay, Just so like it's so many times that you know, I, I can I can recall that God has told me to do something, and I'm um, you know what I'm saying to me I, it was like well God the people ain't gonna hear me, right? Ain't no sense in me sitting there telling these people because they ain't gonna they ain't gonna do nothing no different. But you what you forget is the power of the seed that you plant mm -hmm. to somebody when you go say something. Because don't no, no matter what, God already know what he's going to do. He already know what they're going to do. He already know. Right. He's, on you, he's using you as that vessel, as that tool to sit there and to go out and to let them know, hey, listen, turn. Which one of y'all out there right now, God actually done sat there and done said, this is what you need to go do. And you haven't done it yet. And you constantly running the other way. You constantly okay. trying not. You're doing everything you can. Mm. Or to shake that thought. You're trying to get mm -hmm. it out of your mm -hmm. mind. You're mm -hmm. trying to do things that make you forget it. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to, today to tell you, Come on. if God has a purpose in your life, uh -huh. he's going to make a way. He's going to place things where you find the way it would be very difficult for you not to do what God wants you to do. Oh, man. He's not going to force you, but nope. He, nope. Can, he can make situations and circumstances be in Ooh, your life Lord that would kind of lead you and push you in the very area that God wants you to go. So how many of them right now holding up holding up your breakthrough? How many are holding up your blessings? Oh, uh, Jay, that's oh man, that's awesome. How many of them holding up your breakthrough or, oh. or, or, or what God got for you just because you running from God on what he's telling you what to do? If God, if God <laughs> has a mandate for your life and he has told you not the whole story all i want you to do right now is uh, is go oh i just want you to go i'll let you know how we how this thing gonna work mm -hmm. out right but the right. first thing is to go go that's it you but, got to go but, but you know even in that even when they don't go they, they try to get other people to, to you know to tell them hey, let me tell you what's going on with me so hold they try on. to get them to grieve first, first first what did God tell you hold up I got something for you don't expect empathy because you chose disobedience over submission Woo, that's good RJ that's good that's good I like that I like that you want to sit there now you want somebody to empathize with you mm. but you ain't do what God told you to do I done, yeah. God done told you where to go what to do and how to do it and you want to sit there and wrestle and fight and box with God because you decide I'm not going. That's then when you don't go, you holding up your blessings, you holding up your breakthrough, you holding up so many different things. You know what I'm saying to that next place from where you need to go, and you're not realizing how you hindering not just you, but even the people around you. Wow, 
And Pastor brought up this point. That was one of his points. Mm-hmm. He said, Jonah refused to participate. participate. When he heard the word came and told Jonah to go, mm-hmm. go to Tasha's. Mm-hmm. And that third verse of Jonah 1, he said, but Jonah flee mm-hmm. to Tasha right. from the presence of the Lord. Mm. He told him to go to Nineveh, but he went down to Tasha. How I many God done told you to go this way and you going to go that way? Yeah. He done already made a path, a clear path for you to go. But you you know what? I'm going to go, Lord, I'm going to take this way. Didn't I just tell you to go this way? But then you can't listen. And here's, here's something that, uh, that Pastor Kobe said when this goes. I must learn that convenient disobedience becomes increasingly expensive and eventually would take my life in a downward spiral. Mm, mm, mm. I'm talking about convenient disobedience. Increasingly expensive. What all did Jonah have to pay for? You know what I'm saying? He was the same one set up under the tree. Mm-hmm. God to the tree where he going to complain. He was complaining. God said, you ain't planting the trees. What you getting mad Why for? Why you getting mad at the trees? The trees <laughs> doing what I wanted to do. You get mad at people because they doing what God wanted oh, to do. Oh, there it know, is. God, you're all in the wrong place. You, you're in the wrong place. And here comes somebody telling you, what are you, what, what are you talking about? What are you doing here? I mean, uh, you don't look like that kind of person. Th- that's you know, it. The world can see through you. Yeah, man, you don't you don't look like us. Mm, that's it. That's you, you it. You don't even talk like us. Your mannerism that's is it. not like that. You can't hide when Christ is in your life. You can't. You, you, can. you can't hide the real presence mm-hmm. of Christ in your life. And here's mm-hmm. Jonah trying to act like he on. That's it. You know, you, that's it. God. God uh, <laughs> here's another quote. Here's another quote, though, Pastor Say. Here's another one. And when we was already talking about this. But I must learn that when I'm connected to a runaway bride, their disobedience contaminates, contaminates everything, everything and everyone around. Didn't we just say that? Lord, Pastor Kobe, did, I'm telling you the quote is right here, but we just told you. Who else are you hindering or affecting that's around you? Because you, 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 you're running away. You decide not to do what God told you to do. Can't keep running away. You well, can't how did keep he, running away. But he ran the way, mm-hmm. but God found a way. Oh man, did he? To get him. Where Found he wanted to get me to him. get Found a way to. Found a way to get him. And he used one of his creatures. Come on. To do that. So can first you imagine? All, first of all, he on the ship. All hell on broke loose. All of it done broke loose. Broke Storm, the ship, about everything. To wreck everybody. And everybody trying to pray to their God or talk to their God, whoever mm-hmm. they have mm-hmm. confidence in. With Jonah, and down, Jonah, Jonah down, down there in the bottom of the ship, knocked out sleep. Knocked out sleep. Knocked out about, sleep. Wasn't worried about a thing. It wasn't about one other person knocked out sleep on the ship when it was when it was storming outside. What did they do to you, <laughs> They told Jonah, oh. Hey, man, you, you, got, you got to go. Well, hold on, no, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you how God, let me tell you how God saved him. He had a whale swallow him, not even swallowing. God still had grace. RJ, you can be in some bad. <laughs> you come on, man. Bad situations, <laughs> and God is looking at you, saying, "Mm-hmm, yeah." What you gonna do now? You ain't want. God will push you back in that corner, <laughs> like like that dog, and you can't help. But you know what, Lord? Woo. All right, you know what? God, your grill knuckle up, Lord. I'm ready. Let take take. Let's go. But you know, RJ, I thought about something. Just ran across in my mind. Mm-hmm. God don't do everybody like that. No, sir. No, but, sir. But those that belong to him, he said he disciplined. You, there you he go. He disciplined those that he loved. There you go. There he, you go. He, he disciplined you to get you to go in the right directions. He disciplined you that you might have a little trouble in your life that it might save your life. Come on, come on, come on. So so he, you know, you he can't allow you to just do what you want to do, mm. when you want to, how you want to. He can't allow us to run away any kind of way we want. It. He That's can't it. allow that because it, it'll be disastrous. Very disastrous. For us. But <laughs> even in that, even in that. How many, how many people right now in their marriage or in their relationship or even on their job being hindered because they might be with someone, they may be in a relationship with someone that's continuously disobeying God? Pastor, say that. If, if I am in a relationship with someone who is perpetually disobeying God, 
I can't be surprised when they eventually turn on me. So right. how many of us stuck right there because we're in a relationship with somebody who decide not to obey God, not to do what God has said to do? It can how be. many of us stuck there because God told this person to go? They're being disobedient. They're not listening to God. They're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. At some point, they're going to turn on you. It's, it's, it can only lead to disaster. There's no and blessing it, in it. It can it, become disastrous. It's, it's not like that. It's no blessing in being disobedient. And, yeah. and even in that, pastors say, I must learn that when I'm connected to a runaway bride, they would rather die than obey God's word. Man, that's, that's serious. That's, that's, so that's that almost were, reprobate. That, that was me. Jonah. That was Jonah. Yeah. Jonah was like, you know what? Forget this, man. Let me, let me just, you know, I'm trying to, I would rather die than obey God. That's what Jonah was telling him. I don't want to go do what I need to go do. But God kept creating ish, you know, things for him to be able to come back, to show him. But Jonah knew something. He knew enough about God. He knew enough. He knew he, way more than he, enough. He knew enough about God and still make the, that decision that he made. Mm -hmm. He was so stubborn mm -hmm. and, and hateful uh, 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 about what God wanted him to do. Mm -hmm. He put his whole life on the line. All of it. All of it. His entire matter of fact, not not just that, but think about it. He on the ship. These people on the ship. He put their life on the line. So it's a great storm out there. He down there knocked out sleep. Everybody up, you know what I'm saying? Like, like hey man, what's really going on? We about to die. And as soon as they threw him off. It's like the movie, The Perfect Storm. <laughs> you about to die. Because the person on the ship don't want to obey God. How many of y'all following somebody or harboring somebody who is not doing what they're supposed to do? Now, they're know, not obeying God. RJ, you know God is in all of this. Every last and, bit I of mean, it. even even the people that didn't know him mm -hmm. knew something yeah. about personalities yes. and different things. You know, they they you know, sight. What we see is what That's we it. get. That's they, it. They, That's you it. Might believe that, but they they see. You ain't worried about why you how come you not worried about this? All of us fear for our lives. Mm -hmm. And you come sitting on. up in cool, calm, and collected. That's it right there. Like you okay. They knew That's it was it. something different about it. Yeah, it, it why you not you afraid? That, well, why why yeah. you not fearful? Yeah. So so in other words, you rather take everybody down with you because you decide not to obey God. Mm. You rather other people die or say they not get the message of the word that they need to hear, not turn it from their ways. You rather all these Again, how many people around you are being affected because you won't obey God? You know how many people that is? Uh, for one, that's a whole city. Right. You know what I'm saying? Another one, that is, I'm talking about, you, you already done killed, you know what I'm saying, God tree. You know, you already God done, you know, create, create. <laughs> I mean, come on now. He done let the tree grow. Now you done killed the tree. The tree had the tree done make cuss because you decided not to, not, not to listen to God. God said, you know what? Man, forget it. You don't need no more shade. Then you go get on this ship. Want, want, want more people to die because you don't want to obey God. How many people are you affecting? How many lives? You know what I'm saying? That, 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 that's weighing in a balance because you want to be a runaway bride. Runaway bride. Man, you got any more final words for these people who, for these runaway brides? Uh, I, I tell you, after all that's been said mm -hmm. and done, Jonah was delivered. He was delivered. Amen. Out of the world Amen. Early. Amen. Amen. Because After all of that, he spent he, how many days in there? Three. Three there days you go. and three nights. There you go. And and, and, and then came, Lord, let me let me go. Pastor said this. One of his keys. He was re retained mm -hmm. because of purpose. Ooh. So if you so so if you align yourself, Jonah was gonna have to go there. He he, he had God. He was going. This this is what I got for you to do. Go do it. Go do it. Go, man. Listen. Not not you. Not finna do it. You not. No, you no, 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 no. You ain't about to, you. You gonna do this. this you, you gonna do this. It's gonna happen. How many? How many of us out there right now? God saying, "Oh, you gonna do this." You know what? We cannot give this message that much justice. I'm I'm being honest. I mean, I know we had our word. We talked about it. Y'all need to put it in the comments and let us know honestly 
what you guys like got from the message. You know what I'm saying? Put 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 your quotes on here. Say something back. Don't forget to post tag and share that with somebody. Go back and check it out on Facebook, on YouTube, probably on Instagram. Let people know, even on our app. You know what I'm saying? We have an app, Apple App Store, the Google Play Store, or www.truthandlove.tv. Don't forget that. Look at man. I am RJ. This is the Steam Brother Jerome Wright. This has been another segment of Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about it. it. And guess what, y'all? Here, Here comes, comes the, the church. church.